going on everybody so i just wanted to make this quick little video you know dirty on it and all that good stuff because i see a lot of discussion going on about Mardux one plus three air grab oki going on especially in the discord right for the Mardux discord there's a lot of conversations going on about like how good it is how a lot of high level players are getting really like beat up really hard by it so i just kind of want to make a couple things clear because i feel like a lot of people don't really fully grasp the situation after that air throw, what the Oki options actually are and what you can do on defense, right? Because they, at the end of the day, if you don't know what you can do on defense, then the Oki becomes zero risk and it becomes incredibly strong, right? But the moment you start adding that risk on defense, that changes the situation drastically. So let me give you an example of a juggle here off of DF1 that uh, you could go into the air grab off of, right? Standard uh, DF1 route here, and we get 57 damage there. To make the comparison of what you would usually do off of that route, without wall carry at least. As you can see here, we get 67 with the VTS cancel to forward forward 1 plus 2. So we're sacrificing about 10 points, if not more, if you go for the back 1, 2 ender, which is much easier to drop, of course. So, sacrificing quite a bit of damage for this Oki, right? So... Having gotten all that out of the way, let's take a look at the first option. The one that you see the most often off of that air grab, right? It's the DF1. Of course, you could stay down to make it whiff, right? Of course, that's obvious. You didn't need me to tell you that. But if you hold back, you get launched, right? That's why you see that. It's a full launch into another juggle. It's pretty nasty to get hit by that. What you may not know is there's a way to block this. If you stand straight up by tapping up and then blocking, you block the DF1, and of course, it's a 13-frame punish for you, right? And I get why you may not know that, because the only times you would stand straight up like that is if you're in an Oki situation and you're aware that it is an option to beat a certain Oki option, like now. Here's what Marta could do to punish that, though. Boom, boom. Down forward, forward, two. If Marduk does a 13 frame, that is the limit. 14 frames, you could block it. But 13 frame or faster, mid or low option, he could uh, punish you for that. Of course, there is no 13 frame low option for standing from Marduk. So his only options are down forward 4-2, like that, or a crouch jab, and it'll hit you in the back end, and he could do whatever the hell out of that, right? Here's how you uh, punish this, though. If you hold back now... The down forward four whiffs, and you could duck the two and launch them, right? Of course, if you stay down, you deal with ground throw or, for less risk, a low that hits grounded like a down three or a, a grounded hitting mid like a forward four or back one, right? Probably forward four is a better option. That's Marduk's situation, right? Now, I went through how you could get up for both mid options. This is a three-way guess. If you stay down for either mid option though, it is a very easy whiff punish with the low wake up kick that gives you a full juggle. Very easy whiff punish. And uh, that is probably my biggest issue with this Oki, is the fact that if you go for either mid and they stay down, you're gonna get launched. Now, of course, if they stay down and you want to get greedy, you go for the ground grab, right? Well, then if you get up, you can immediately do a while standing kick launcher. And if you don't have access to a while standing kick launcher, you could tap up to crouch cancel, go for something. Or you could hop kick if you have that option from that situation. If I'm Marduk specifically, I can go for something particularly nasty. And uh, crouch cancel to forward 3-2, which could net me 92 damage, right? So, this is insanely high risk, Oki, but we're not even done yet, right? If he goes for ground grab and I delay tapping back, that's still you getting launched. But not only is that you getting launched for that. Let's see if I get this right. It just punches, the DF1 just punches me in the ass and you don't get a full launcher. So, there's a lot of ways to screw up this Oki. If you time things right, you have to go for these options immediately, basically. And there's a lot of ways to screw up this Oki. And when you know this, you could really make him hurt for guessing wrong. So, keep this in mind. 
when dealing with this Oki, okay? Obviously, it's really, really rewarding if the opponent doesn't know these defensive options. Like, the obvious one is staying down on the floor and getting that low kick launcher. But people, I think, assume it's a 50-50 when it isn't, right? And there's just so many options you have to mess with this Oki. So keep that in mind. Stop falling for this as often as you do, okay? I know it's a lot of damage if you guess wrong, but you got to, like, do your homework and, like, figure this stuff out because, you know. <laughs> Me, personally, I like the down forward one into the wall carry because in non-bigs, this gives really oak, really good Oki on non-big characters. Well, I whiffed it there, but you get it. That combo, when you connect it on smaller characters, non-bigs, you get really good Oki that is pretty damn safe in comparison to this, and the jungle itself does two more damage than the one I showed off of the one plus the air grab. But whatever, everybody's their own player, so if you saw what you saw here and you still feel good about that one plus the air grab Oki, by all means, do you. If you feel like your Yomi's good enough to make it work, it's pretty awesome Oki. Otherwise, consider uh, adjusting your risk award if you feel like your opponent knows what's up. So, that's that. Alright, I hope that helped, and I'll see you guys soon. Adios.